Hi guys, welcome to SmileStyle.com And if you're watching this video on YouTube, welcome to YouTube.com slash DX5K Now, you have to go watch my last video because that kind of sets the stage about what I'm about to talk about My last video is talking about how I don't like to be labeled And the reason is because what I'm about to talk about, I can, autom I can already predict that I will be labeled Probably in a category that I'm not in. But what people would do is they might take one ideology that you have about this one issue. And by saying how you feel about this one issue, they automatically attribute other issues to you that you may not agree with. And the issue I'm about to talk about and the issue that uh, I'm about to express and why I'm against it, people will try to put me in a category. But in my last video, I was explaining why I don't fit into any categories. You can try if you want, but you'll be wrong. So when I express how I feel, somebody out there will say, if you feel this way, that means you are this. But if you do that, you'd be wrong because you're only taking one bit of information. You're only taking one opinion that I have about one issue. That's it. That doesn't mean I agree with every issue based on that category that you put me in. All right. So that's what the last video is about. Go see it. But what I would like to talk about is why I'm against why I'm against the um, Affordable Care Act, the ACA. I've had strong feelings about this for a long time, and I've been following how everything worked with it. And there's so many things that is weird about it that I don't understand why people who are forward don't understand why I'm against it. Like, I don't understand why they don't see the problem that I have with it. And that boggles me. Now, I'll be honest. I can't, I, I, I'm not against it based on why everybody, like the conservatives, I don't, I don't, I'm not against it for the same reasons they're against it. They're trying to repair the reprise. I don't know. They have the ideology. They have their reasons for what they're doing. It, and I haven't even considered they, what they feel. I'm talking about me personally, you know. So, what I don't like, like I haven't read, let me be honest, let me be completely honest, I haven't read the thing whatsoever, I can't even pretend I know what's in it, I don't know what's in it, that's not why, it might be the best thing in the world, it might be the best piece of legislation ever written, it might be the most concise and comprehensive health plan in the world, but that's not why I'm against it, I'm against it because of the mandate. If this thing is supposed to be so glorious and so beautiful, it's going to help change America, it's going to help a lot of people, it should work without my participation. I've heard President Barack Obama say, in order for this thing to work, everybody has to participate or pitch in or everybody has to get involved. Well, that's impossible. If it works so well, it should work without me or not. It should work without my participation. Anything... That you design that requires 100% participation from everybody or a certain percent that everybody has to buy into it, it's already a failed plan. I don't even know what's in it, but the fact that you're forcing people or saying they can't work without participation of a certain amount of people, it already sucks. It already sucks. Because you can't force people to make something happen, especially if some people may not want it to happen. That's like saying, all right, we have to build this bridge. But in order for this bridge to be complete, everybody has to want this bridge. But there might be some people on the other side of the bridge that's like, I don't really want a bridge. I don't really want to go there. Yeah, you're trying to build a bridge to connect two people. But these people may not want those people to come in. And these people may not want those people to come in. So, no, I don't think I feel like I built... Well, you have to build this bridge. Why? Yeah, the bridge might help people out get to one place to another quickly. I can see the benefits of the bridge. But if this bridge is going to be so awesome... The building of the bridge should work without my participation. Do it without me. I don't want, I don't want, I mean, I want the bridge. Right? And that's how I feel about this uh, legislation. If it's going to work so well, it should work without me in it or not. It should work. Right? Bill Maher said, buy into it. It's going to work. It may. It may work. But why can't it work without me? Why do I have to throw my two cents in for it to work? That's the part that bothers me. Why is it mandated that I throw something in the pot so it can work? Especially if I don't, I'm not really into it. It's kind of like they're forcing me to buy something that I don't want. 
And as far as I know, as far as my knowledge of how the federal government works, they can't do that. The federal government cannot force you to buy anything, especially if you don't want it. And that's how I feel. I feel like the federal government is forcing me to buy something I don't want. And if I don't buy it, first of all, I'm in criminal violation. So now I'm a federal criminal. And they still take my money anyway because there's a penalty involved. Basically, I have to pay money no matter what I do. If I agree with it, you know, if I don't want to be a federal criminal, I have to pay money into it. They got my money. Or if I don't sign up for it and I don't get into it, they're going to take my money. I don't have an option here. They're going to get my money regardless of what I do. And if I don't do it a certain way, I'm in criminal violation. So now I'm a federal criminal, a broke federal criminal. <laughs> and how could you not see that? Now they're saying, well, if you want to avoid that, just pay into it. No. Because I get that it might help benefit people, but don't I have a right not to care about people? Don't I have the right to not be considerate? All right, it might be the nice thing to do, but I have a right not to be nice. If I don't want to help somebody, I shouldn't be forced to help. You might say, well, it's, it's good. It's going to help so many people. There are a lot of people that can't afford health care, and by participating to the system, you help them out. But I shouldn't be obligated to do so just because it's nice, just because it's helpful. I should want to do it genuinely. You can't force anybody to be nice. You can't force people to do what's right. There's a lot of things. You know what? I noticed that too with a lot of uh, legislation. They, they feel like certain things are better than other things. So they try to mandate that you do that. Oh, it's healthier if you only eat this. So everybody should be required. Like right now they're doing that in kindergarten. I heard a story where certain kindergartens are only supposed to have 1% milk or low skim milk or something like that. Because it's better. So they ban the other full milk. I don't know. I don't drink milk at all. So I don't know what's the better milk. Or the 16 ounces. So you can only have 16 ounces because it's better. Or you, you should drive these type of cars instead of these type of cars because it's better. Well, that's, th that's not freedom. By saying something is better or healthier, that doesn't mean you should mandate that everybody do that. Salads are healthier. So now we're going to make all restaurants serve salads instead of fries. That's not freedom. Just because something is better, just because something is a healthier choice or a wiser choice or a financially better choice or a substantial choice, just because something is better, it shouldn't be forced on people that may not want it. Yeah, these cars may be better for the environment. I don't know. But you can't force people to start driving those cars all of a sudden and banning these cars because they're not healthy. I might want a monster truck. Now you're taking my freedoms away from me. Just because you deem this to be better, I'm not allowed to buy a monster truck. That's not freedom. I can't buy a 16-ounce soda because a 24-ounce soda is unhealthy. I can't do that. I, I have to... I had to buy two 16-ounce sodas now just to get my fill of soda that I want. I only wanted 24, but now I got to buy 30 what? what? 32 ounces. It's like, why do I have to buy two 16-ounce sodas when I can just get the 24? Oh, but the 24 is illegal because it's bad for you. Who thinks that way? Who thinks just because something is better for you, we have to force you to do it? We have to force you to do this because it's better. We know better than you. We know that this is healthier, and we know that if we don't force you to do it, you're not going to make the right choices by yourself. So we're going to force you to make the right choice. We're going to say this is the right choice, so that's the one you need to do. And if you don't do what we think is the right choice, you get penalized. You, get, you pay a higher tax. You, you get criminalized. You get, you know, like you get all these penalties for not doing what they think is right. That is not freedom. They want me to buy into the system because they think it's better, but they don't know me like that. I'm selfish by nature. You're taking my freedom to be selfish away. I'm not. I'm an anti. I'm an anti-social. I'm self. I'm that type of guy when I'm at work, and everybody wants to order a pizza, and everybody pitches in their money for the pizza. I don't. No, I don't want the fucking pizza. So we all. Hey, we all about to order something, man. What you want? Like, no. When I'm hungry, I'm gonna get what I want. When I'm hungry, I'm gonna stop and get what I want, and I may not want pizza. But everybody about to get pizza, so you might as well get put your money with us and we all get a pizza together. I don't know. You can't force me to do that. If y'all want to do it, I'm not stopping you. If y'all all, all want to pitch in your money to get the pizza, go right ahead. But no, I'm going to get what I want on my time. I may not want the pizza when you want it. I may not want the type of pizza that you're going to order. I may not want to put my money up for something that I may not eat. I'm that guy. I'm the guy that when I'm hungry, I go get what I want. And I don't even offer 
I do that. I want every time I come to work with uh, with food. People are like, oh, you could have told me that you was going to this place. Yeah, I could have, but I didn't. I had the right not to. Yeah, it may be selfish. It may be inconsiderate. It may be mean to certain people. But I have the right to do it. If I want to go get my own food and not tell nobody where I'm going, I have the right to do that. You can't force me to say, hey, look, when you go get something to eat, let everybody know because somebody might want what you're getting. Fuck them. I don't have to do that. Yes, it may be mean, but you can't force morality on people. You can't force me to be nice. That's not freedom. I had the freedom to say, you know what? I don't feel like sharing my food. I don't feel like getting food for anybody else. So I'm not. I'm not telling anybody where I'm going. I have the right to privacy. I have the right not to tell people where I'm going. I have the right to spend my money on what I want. I'm going to go over there, get what I want, not tell anybody about it, and tell whoever got a problem with it, fuck them. Yeah, I went to this spot without telling you guys something to eat and I ate. Fuck you. I have a right to do that. Not, hey, everybody, I'm going, so everybody give me your money. No, no, no. Or, hey, uh, Smiles, give us your money because we're all going to get peace. No. And that's what this that's what this healthcare law is doing. It's forcing me to put money up for something that I don't want to put money up on. I don't want it. I don't want it. I don't need it. I can, I probably can't afford it. I don't even know what the price is. I may, I may not can't afford it. So you're forcing me to buy something. You're forcing me to spend money on something I can't afford. And it's forcing me to spend money I don't want. That's not right on any level. Even if it does work well, it should work without me. Now you're saying, well, what about car insurance? You know, they make you have car insurance. But here's the difference between car insurance and the health um, care insurance thing. Nobody is forcing me to have car insurance. Now you're saying, yeah, the state does. First of all, the state and federal is two different things. The state can do that. But it's not a mandate. I don't have to pay car insurance if I don't want to use the lives of roads. I choose to. I have a car, and I do pay insurance. But if I don't want to pay the car insurance, I don't have to because I don't have to drive. I can walk. I have the option to walk. I have the option to ride a bike. I have the option to skateboard. I have the uh, option to have public transportation. So, yes, if I want to drive, I'm required to have car insurance. But it's not a mandate because I don't have to drive if I don't want to pay the car insurance. I can do... I have, There's... There's other modes of transportation I can utilize. That's one of the major differences. If I don't want to drive, if I don't want to pay car insurance, I don't have to drive. I can take the bus. I can call a friend for a ride. There's other ways I can get around that without paying car insurance. It just so happens I like driving, so I don't mind paying the car insurance. Plus, the state has the right to do that, not the federal government. Whereas with the health care bill, with the health care law, no matter what I do, whether I pay into the system or not, whether I get the insurance or not, whether I utilize hospitals or not. What if I wanted a witch doctor? You know, what if I wanted a witch doctor to take care of me? I don't have that option anymore. I'm paying money to them no matter what I do. That's why I don't like the mandate. Time limits. I'm only one sip away. Out.